It doesn't get any better than this. Oh my gosh. Salute! Salute! It's so good. It's so sweet and fresh. There's a reason we love coming to Italy. Morning from Palermo here in Sicily, Italy. We couldn't come to Sicily without doing a food tour. Sicilian food is so unique, so we figured Palermo was the perfect place to do it. We have once again partnered up with Secret Food Tours and we're heading to go meet up with our local guide, Emma, right now. That looks good. That does look good. Salute. 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 A quick little espresso before our food tour. Grazie. Have a good day, you guys. Thank you. Nice to meet you, man. Grazie. <laughs> what a wonderful start. People here are so friendly. I can't tell you guys how excited I am for this tour. Eating is my favorite thing to do whenever we travel, and just like a full day of having somebody take me around and feed me the best foods is like my ultimate travel experience so yeah i'm just happy <laughs> happy to be here <laughs> we just met up with emma our local guide she's going to be showing us all the yummy treats to eat today hi guys nice to meet you so i'm really excited finally as you can see palermo is very loud city <laughs> not a surprise but yeah we are finally excited to show you our city and our food <laughs> oh my gosh our first stop is the typical arancina. So this is the butter one. This one comes with mozzarella cheese and ham. It's put in a breadcrumb and then they fry it. It's so hot. Mm. Fried buttery goodness. It's so crunchy and hot and the cheese is just that perfect cheese pull. Mm. This is my kind of breakfast. It is, like your perfect breakfast. Mm -hmm. She was saying the typical Italian breakfast is pretty sweet, but here in Sicily they have a little bit of a, they need a stronger start for the day. I, and that's me too, I need a little bit of a stronger start for the day. And that's this. It's a far win win. I don't want to say that. I understand why we are doing Great start. It's so salty and buttery and good, right? Thank you for the script of words behind the camera. <laughs> Delicious, yes. Yeah. Wow. Everyone devoured that and it's on to the next stop. They used to take us here to do gymnastic hour. Oh really? But the, the floor was much different, you know, because it was raining, it was terrible. I don't know why we have to do this outside and give you information. In this kind of street you're always gonna find some lady and you know the fresh laundry. You know, you can smell it as well. So Santa Rosalia here, gonna have a picture of her all over the city. So we're heading to the main market now. It's where we're trying two more foods and a drink. I could go for another cappuccino right now. So in every food tour with Secret Food Tours, they have a secret location with a secret dish that's not on the itinerary. Last time we did a food tour with Secret Food Tours, I peeked at the itinerary. I did not peek at the itinerary this time, so pretty much every dish is secret for me, but this is the official secret dish. What a lively market, it's very busy. I love all the smells, people are super friendly. We arrived at our first stop here. Looks like they have olives and some meats. We'll see what we're trying. All fresh products from Palermo. So there is a little bit of everything. We have cheese, this cheese is the cacio cavallo. Then we have the classic salame, which is the salame Napoli. It's called kind of from Naples, by here. And then kind of mix of all different olives. And then we have the dry tomato. Uh, which is very popular here. We are a big producer. What an amazing trade. This is my kind of second stop. It doesn't get any better than this. Mm. All these are my favorites. Cheese, salami, olives. There's a reason we love coming to Italy. I forgot to say, we're going to two markets today and the name of this market is Valero. So if you guys wanted to know where we we're at. Also, don't worry about eating too much on the food tour because if you feel like you're getting full, you can take anything to go. So we took most of our charcuterie boards to go because they pack well and we can leave room for more food. Perfect. The name oh, of this my wine comes from the, the type of grape, so okay. the Zibibo grape, which is very sweet. We produce it in a little island close to Sicily, which is Pantelleria. It's very fresh, very sweet, 
So it's something, you know, we are obsessed with wine, uh, but it's something that usually we drink during lunch or dinner. This one is very specific, so we have it as a drink on its own as well. Uh, or a lot of people could describe it as a dessert drink. Okay. So have, a, have a taste. And what's the name of it? Zibibo. Zibibo. Oh, it's so cute. Zibibo. Zibibo. Salute. Mm. Mm. Yummy. It's so good. It's so sweet and fresh. Two great stops so far. That drink was very delicious, surprisingly. I think we have one more food stop and then we're heading to a different market. Our secret dish is that one that you see there is manja belly, which literally means eat and drink, and it's pork belly wrapped in spring onion, eat with a little bit of salt and lemon. You're only gonna find it here. Even in, for example, here in Ballarò, not in every single shop they have, but it's amazing. Okay, we have two typical street foods here, which I'm very excited about. We have the first one is salchicha, which is their typical sausage. That's this little guy right here. And then the other one is called menjibedi. I think it means eat and drink, and it's this little sausage right over here. Okay, let me try this one first. Yum. Mm. The traditional way to eat it is with salt, and then they serve it with salt, and then we squeeze lemon on top. So good. So this is theola. It is lamb intestine. This is not normal on the food tour, but I especially requested it. She said it tastes like a really good, like rare steak. Oh wow, the fat just bursts in your mouth. So much flavor. Refreshing beer. Mm. Much needed. I'm sweating. I'm working too hard. Just to see me running around. I know, but it's hot in October. Yeah. Hot in October, and we're right behind the grill, so it's warm. Tommy was like, Sammy, you're listening. I was like, I can't help it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Very good. Do you have a favorite? I do. Um, I love the um, sausage the best versus the pork belly. Although the pork belly was excellent, but I don't like the onion. The, the, sourness of the onion, I like the saltiness of the sausage more. I'm with you there, I agree. Sam, you like the onion more, right? I love the onion. Yeah, it's the like onion. a strong flavor, it's really, really good. That's it. Thank you so much. Awesome. Sicilian tater pots. <laughs> So this one is called panelle. It's made with chickpea flour and it's fried. Mm. It's like a thin french fry with lemon on top. Delicious. So this little guy is a potato croquette deep fried with parsley. She said, Americans say it's like a tater tot. This is so much better though. Upgraded tater tot. Uh-huh. This is an elevated tater tot. Wow, both those snacks are so delicious. We were just missing a beer with that. That'd be a perfect combination with the beer. I think next up we're getting a drink. I think now is the time for we're getting a cappuccino. We have a plate here of a bunch of different traditional starters. We have eggplant, zucchini, grilled vegetables. We have this little thing right here, which I think is a croquette fish ball. It was fish, she said, right? Codfish. Bacala. Look, we have a we have the knowledge is over here. <laughs> we somehow we know it. Aubergine with the marinara sauce and the parmesan. You know that's gonna be good. Mm. That's worth that. So funny. <laughs> I said I was like, oh, it has tomato sauce, and I was like, I've never said the word tomato sauce. Hanging out with these Aussies. Tomato. <laughs> tomato. <laughs> okay. This is a our main event here we have a tomato sauce with fried aubergines or eggplants with um the cheese on top was a dried out what was the cheese again the kind of cheese that goes on top is the ricotta salata with salty cheese on top oh i mean that's that is driving yes. yeah that's so Impressive. I just felt it on the, the back of my neck here. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. And you're like, you need to scoot in a little bit. I was like, what? <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. Yeah. Okay, let's give it a go. Mm. Mm -hmm. The eggplant is really, really good. 
delicious. The eggplant just melts in your mouth. It's mm. wonderful. What a delicious lunch. It's finally time for that coffee now. This coffee looks so amazing. So I just met the owner of the coffee place, which is amazing coffee. Highly recommend. And such sweet people. How did you guys drink? It's like um, licorice in my mouth, but really, really cold. Oh, that sounds pretty good. I love pretty licorice. Pretty amazing. Yeah, it's worth pretty it. Pretty amazing. So these two got the upgraded one and you definitely go for it. They it. got some because extra bonuses. Because the guy in the, behind the camera got really sad. <laughs> And he's regretting the fact that he didn't upgrade. <laughs> Ain't that so the hot truth. tip. <laughs> so you guys gonna have your suite in an 800 years old monastery? This one, the moment you, you break with your thing, you will see, it's amazing. And they fill it in front of you with the ricotta cheese. There's no cream inside, it's just ricotta fresh mixed with sugar. When our boss decided to do the tour here, to choose this as a secret location, he renamed this Oli Cannoli. Oh, <laughs> and I think, I think you're gonna agree. Right, the last stop on our food tour, we're eating a cano cannolo, a singular cannoli. <laughs> we're eating cannoli in an 800 year old monastery, which is just a hidden gem. I'm going for it. Oh my gosh, this is heaven. Oh my gosh, it's so good. What do you guys think? Oh, fabulous. That ricotta has got that sweet touch to it. The crust is thin, light, and full of great flavor. Oh. Well, such an awesome tour. Thank you for everything. You were you. so amazing. Seriously, you were the best. I love that you guys enjoy. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, I'm sure we'll trip. be forever around on video. Make sure you make some kind of weird comment yeah, when you watch it. Yeah, I'm going to say sucked in. <laughs> we got the drinks and you didn't. <laughs> that would be so perfect. Such an awesome food tour. Secret food tours comes through again. Emma, our guide, was fantastic. We'll leave a link in the description. Make sure you guys book it here when you're in Palermo. And we were thinking about skipping Palermo, but we saw it today and it's definitely worth the trip here. Such a beautiful city with very friendly locals. Thank you guys for watching and we appreciate all you guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.